Peter College, Grade 2, English Language. Present continuous tense. Hello, dear children. How are you today? Are you enjoying your holidays? What are you going to learn today? What? Today, we are going to learn about present continuous tense, which is lesson 7, Grammar Master Test Book. Children, what is present continuous tense? The present continuous tense indicates that an action or condition is happening now frequently and may continue into the future. Let's talk about things you do every day. Walk, sleep, eat, play. We also call them action words. Verb step. We have already learned the actions we do generally, such as walk, run, sleep, etc. We have seen the verb in sentences in many different ways. Example, the girl runs every day. The girl ran yesterday. There are different forms of the same verb run. So we call it the verb stem. The action word can be called the verb stem. We can change the verb stem into different forms. We'll see that. Example. Verb stem. Walk. Sleep. Read. Draw. Play. Fasting. Walked. Slept, read, dream, played. In the same way, we can change the verb stem adding ing. Look at this verb stem. Walk. When you are after adding ing, walking. Sleep. Sleeping. Read. Reading. Draw. Drawing. Play. Playing. You see, after adding ing, right? Now you can do this. Let's practice what we learned. Now see, I have given verb stem. You can write after adding ing. Wash, bark. Treat, cook. Did you write the answers? We'll see. Let's check your answers now. What are the verbs there? Wash, bark, treat.
Treat, cook. After ring ing, wash, washing. Bark, barking. Treat, treating. Cook, cooking. Okay, well done. Step 2. Now we are going to learn how to form ing in different ways. We'll see. Double in the last letter before adding ing. It's very easy, children. Look at this carefully. When the letter before the last letter is a short vowel, we double the last letter. Examples, run, running, sit, sitting, cut, cutting, hop, hopping, dig, digging. Can you see the ing forms in the red, red letters? That's, we double the last letter, run. N is the last letter before the vowel. After the, after U. So, we double N. See, sit, we make it double T. Cut, the last letter is T, we make it double T. Hop, the last letter is P, we are doubling P. D, the last letter is G. We write double G. So then after that we are adding ing. Running, sitting, cutting, hopping, digging. Did you understand that? Right. Now we can practice. Let's practice what we learned. Right. I have given verb stem. You can do after adding ing. Get, dip, nod, drop, rub. Are you ready to check the answers? Right. Get. Getting, dip, dipping, nod, nodding, drop, dropping, rub, rubbing. Good job! Step 3. Omitting E and adding ING. Children, when a word ends with letter E, we drop the letter E and add ing. Because with E, we can't pronounce after adding ing. That is why we are omitting E and add ing. Verb stem. Smile, smiling. Write, writing. Come, coming, make, making, take, taking. Right, let's practice what we learn. I have given the verb stem, then you can make the words adding ing. But remember to drop e. Dance, chase, close, live, snow. Have you done? Let's check your answer. Done. Dancing, chase, chasing, close, closing, live, living.
no snoring. You did it. Very good. Right, let's learn the present continuous form. The present continuous tense is formed with the subject, helping verb, plus the present continuous tense of the verb, plus the present participle form in ing. Sometimes these actions are done together. writing or speaking about actions in the present continuous tense, we use verb with ing with the helping verb. There are three helping verbs. They are, they are am, is, are. In the box, am, is, are, plus verb stem, plus ing. That's how we form a sentence. See the example? I am reading. Mala is walking. They are playing. See, am, is, are. That's a helping verb. They are helping verbs. We can't write a sentence in present continuous tense without a helping verb. Let's understand this with an example. He is swimming. Can you see the picture? He subject is present tense of the verb to be. Swimming present participle verb form. Can you do the following exercise alone? We'll see. Number one. My mother blank a cake within the bracket to get the word make. Okay, you write it. The dog blank at a stranger within the bracket. The verb is barked. Number three, the girls blank in the garden play. Number four, our teacher, blank, a beautiful sari, within the bracket, verb stem, well. Number five, the boys, blank, a race, within the bracket, run. Okay. Number one. My mother is making a cake. See, the make, we drop E and add I-N-G. What is the helping verb? Mother, singular noun. So, we use is. Number two. The dog is barking at a stranger. The verb stem bark. 
Vienna in G. Dog singular noun. So we use is. Is barking. Number three. The girls are playing in the garden. Verb stem is play. We use verb to be is are. Why? Because girls, plural. Number four, our teacher is wearing a beautiful sari. Verb stem wear is wearing because teacher is teacher singular noun. Number five, the boys are running a race. Verb stem is run. See, we may before we are. Add I and G, we double the last letter and add I and G. And the verb to be R, we use R because boys, plural. Okay, well done, it's great effort. I think you are very happy today. Enjoy your holidays. But don't forget to engage in a study. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.